A sudden influx of water provides a playground for some children. But for others at the United Nations Protection Site in Boer, South Sudan, it creates a lot of work as they dig up soil and transport it by any means possible to stem the flow of rising floodwaters into their homes. The rainy season in South Sudan wreaks havoc on the lives of the most vulnerable who are already living in difficult conditions after fleeing ongoing violence. More than 2,000 internally displaced people living at this site have had their homes devastated by heavy rains. Paths are almost impassable and many makeshift canvas shelters are submerged in water. The one that who, who had been displaced by the flood, they have gone to, to the community shelters. So, but most of them, the vulnerable, most of them, the women who have just given birth, like uh, two weeks, one day, and five days. So this is the most problem that uh, which is affecting us. Korean peacekeeping engineers are providing urgent relief by pumping the water out of the housing area within the site. They are also assisting people in the town itself, whose homes and shops have been damaged by the heavy rains. And this is a natural disaster. Um, we're very concerned about the health and safety of the population. We're very concerned about the possibilities of waterborne diseases and, and those types of diseases spreading. So where we can support the people, we will support them. The consequences of the rain are not only health related, but also have a wider impact on the community and the ability of families to support themselves. When it floods, it becomes more uh, devastating, especially the economic, the social and the environmental uh, consequences that comes with it. Uh, our land as a, an agricultural uh, state, we rely on agriculture. And if it floods before the farmers cultivate, then it means that uh, there's no food for us. With the rainy season only just starting, more floods are expected, adding to the suffering of the people of South Sudan, who have already been uprooted from their homes and torn apart from their families after five years of conflict. <laughs>